No. I'm pretty well fucked now. I hope that I can fix it. Doesn't look good at all. I took a stop and looked at the tire and it's just gone. Come up. Nice. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> My pannier came off. And the worst part about it is that the mounting points have broken off. Oh, wow, beautiful. Oh. Out of the sand, yeah! Time to find some shade. I'm fucked. I've got a flat tire. Yep, she is flat. No, I'm pretty well fucked now. I hope that I can fix it. Doesn't look good at all. I was just riding and I think is the sand so boggy or why am I going all over the place and it just I took a stop and looked at the tire and it's just gone the day started off so good and this side of the tire looks completely fucked so I hope that I can repair it I'm gonna get the rear wheel off I've just unloaded all my stuff and because I don't have a sander stand I need to imp improvise something bloody warm here so I hope I'll get this done quickly my luck has run out now I am stuck in the middle of nowhere it's uh, 600 kilometer east and uh, 600 kilometer west to the first town all right I'm gonna try to fix this so I don't have a center stand so I can't get the rear wheel up normally so what I'm doing is if I put the bike on the st side stand and I pull down on there and that stays on the ground then the rear wheel lifts up all right with the pegs of my tent I have made myself a anchor point at my front wheel to keep the wheel down as well as a anchor point next to the steering wheel to lift my bike this way and the rear wheel is clear now now I'm gonna try to construct some shade for myself and then uh, start replacing this rear wheel and I found it as I said before it's sticks that give you flat tires well there's our stick I hope that that rear tire is gonna survive because I've got a tube but no tire it is officially a ginormous hole I am thinking about turning back to the roadhouse and see if I can order a new tire and make a bit of a loop shampoo I hoped so very much hoped that I never have to do this that I'd never have to do this in the bush and exactly on the most remote track that, I'm, that I've ever done this happens that's one okay let's inspect the inside of the tire Get a new tube in. It's starting to get warmer and warmer as well. So I fixed up my shade tarp. And now I'm gonna put the new tube in. <laughs> nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> ah, that's good. Ah, nice. New tubes in. Come 
up. Nice. Nice! Yeah! Alright, it's getting to the hottest part of the day, but I've gotten the wheel back in. Tire is replaced. The tube is replaced, I mean. Let's hope this holds up to the end. I'm not gonna repair the other tube. I'm only gonna do that if I need to replace it tube once again. For now, pack up, and then I'll tighten the chain and tension up the wheel when I'm loaded up, so all the weight is on it. All right, she's all fixed up again. Let's hope this tire lasts. We're gonna do uh, 10 kilometers and then stop and check the tire. Sixty kilometers to the border. Let's go. Hopefully that tire will hold up. I've not patched the other tire. Uh. The reason for that is if I make it to Cooper BD without any more trouble problems, I'm not gonna reuse that, I'll just chuck it in the bin and buy a new one. But this is the reason why I'm carrying spare parts. I would have been screwed if I uh, didn't have anything. And uh, ride 10 kilometers or something and then uh, check the tire if it's properly holding up. You sort of lose trust in your bike after something like this happens. That was very shit because that uh, took me uh, two and a half, three hours to repair uh, with all the brakes in between because it's bloody warm. Um, no sticks. In the meanwhile, it's nearly one o'clock. I'll sleep like a baby tonight after all this. The landscape is changing significantly. I have made it to a rest area just 10 kilometers shy of the border uh, of the South Australia and Western Australia and this is what it looks like and I have been chilling out here for the last hour uh, it is in the late 30s 38 degrees I think and I'm exhausted of all the sand dunes. So I'm gonna have a chill down and then probably at four o'clock keep riding because I've only done 170 kilometers so far. And my goal is 300 today. 
So when it cools down a bit more, I will be continuing on. All right. <clears throat> Ten more kilometers, and then I reach the border of the South Australia and Western Australia. Alright, let's see how we go. The sun has gone down, temperature has dropped significantly. We're getting more sand. I've got the feeling that the sand will uh, keep coming for the next uh, 100 kilometers. The track gets very narrow at some sections. A lot of sticks. All right, I am 500 meters from the border of Western Australia and South Australia, and uh, I just crashed. And it was not because of bad riding. All of a sudden, I get a shock to the right, and apparently, what happened is that my pannier came off. And the worst part about it is that the mounting points have broken off and I can't find where they are. I found some sort of a solution, I put it down with the ratchet straps. I doubt it will last, but uh, yeah. Well, if it doesn't last, then I'll have to leave the pannier behind. I fueled up as well to get rid of the fuel bladder on that pannier. Nice. And that is another Lanbidel plaque. Welcome to the border of South Australia, Shire of Laverton. I have made it to the official border of South Australia and Western Australia. At the border you'll see a plaque, a Lenby Dell plaque. The state border, latitude, longitude, laid in from astronomical observations on 24 of April 1962. South Australia and Western Australia, 110 kilometers, uh, miles, and then I reach Folk Hill Corner. That won't be today. I'm naked. I'm gonna try to keep on riding for a little bit more to South Australia. I'm riding into it now. Now I'm gonna try to keep on riding for a little bit longer because it's still light but it's a lot cooler. Serpentine Lakes it says. Fuck yeah! I've got a hard packed surface again! Oh wow, beautiful! Oh! Out of the sand! Yeah! Oh, we'll get more sand in a minute, but. Oh, mate! Now I think. Now I think this is a good way to uh, finish off the day. I'm going to uh, set up camp here. I'm not going to make a fire tonight. I'm just going to cook with my stove. I've made it to Serpentine Lakes, um, which is probably halfway down the route. Now, this is going to be my view for tonight. Just one big open plane. Now I have set up camp, I'm not making a fire tonight, so I've just chucked my stuff off the bike and I've set up my swag there. Um, for dinner I am going to make myself some soup. The soup is cooking. 
Now today didn't go as planned at all. I knew about a section of sand dunes that was coming up. Um, in the end, um, there was a lot, a lot, a lot more sand than I expected and I don't like that at all. So I ran a flat tire as well. That set me back about three hours uh, in the middle of the day as well. So I was, I was boiling after I finished uh, swapping the tire over. Now tomorrow I'm gonna put my alarm at two o'clock, so I'm gonna go to bed after the sun sets. Um, I wanna make sure I'm packed up when, whenever light kicks in, uh, so that I can start riding, riding straight away. Then. Yeah. Thanks for watching, have a good night. If you liked my video, let me know, like, share and subscribe.